Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Tuesday the 8th, and today was a beautiful day outside. Started off super chilly, like I could see my breath in the air when I first got out and got the tools and stuff ready to go for the day's work, and that definitely sucked. I was definitely hoping that would change. It definitely warmed up some. It started to try and rain or as we started to do the door, and then of course luckily it stopped and we had a beautiful day for the whole thing. So. I ended up replacing the um, back door to my house. Um, the old one was not big a deal. It's just it was in really crappy shape, bad storm door on it, handful of different issues there. But I didn't use that much, so I just left a you know blanket up over top of it for the longest time. And I've had my dog now long enough that I've been using the door in and out constantly, and then it's get it needs to be replaced. So I decided it's time to replace it. Found a door that fit the opening width wide, so I didn't have to do a lot of maintenance and a lot of cutting out and tearing stuff out of the house but the height was too tall. So I had to cut the top out. Again, it worked out decently. It wasn't that big a deal. Um, we got it done, that's the main thing. I had a guy that I hired to come over, he's a carpenter. Um, he's definitely a roughing carpenter, not a finished work guy. And he helped me, he made a couple mistakes, damaged my door, scratched and dented some stuff here and there. He's not a fine woodworking kind of guy at all. So definitely that wasn't good. Um, I ended up breaking a hammer, fiberglass handled hammer, trying to pry a nail out that I've had that hammer since high school. So the fact that that hammer got broke, I was a little bit bummed out, but not a big deal. I mean, it's a cheap hammer that I bought like back in high school. It's just I'd had it forever, and I've missed a few times with fiberglass. If you miss something, you hit the handle. It does massive damage to a hammer, and I'm sure I've done that over the years numerous times. It just decided to break today. So it really kind of drove me nuts. I was like, what the hell? And it might have been because he was using it there for a while, really beating the crap out of some stuff, and he might have missed and hit the handle again or who knows what. But like I said, it's a... 15 plus maybe 20 year old hammer i've had it forever i don't remember ever not having it i'll put it that way and the head was starting to mushroom out and there were some issues i'd noticed last time i used i thought about you know time to replace it anyway so this was good timing worked out well so now i've got to do a little research find out what the next hammer i want to get because the fact hammer technology is pretty decent um you don't replace them every day so i might look into research maybe find a little bit more better balance a little better handle hammer that kind of stuff and who knows i might be able to make it last the rest of my life so We'll see there. Um, I'm not in a real big hurry there. But the good thing is we did get the door in. There's some things, like I said, he didn't cut the top right He on the um, the panel in the inside wall. He he cut it crooked, which sucks because now that's why the door didn't go in right. We were having trouble getting it lined up. And I was never on the inside. I was on the outside of the door trying to get it shimmed up and screwed in. And I realized after he left that the paneling stole down too low and I have to go back and recut that. So it's going to be a fine um, little fun time of trying to set my saw up to cut just as deep as the paneling and the plywood they use for drywall in here. And see if I can't basically cut that off without actually cutting into the door frame. So that's going to be some trial and error and some fun with that. So hopefully I can get that figured out. I'm going to probably wait and put that off next week. Um, not in a big hurry. I just got the door done. Waiting to get my storm door in, so once it's storm door in, then I can go ahead and put the outside trim on. Once I get the outside trim on, I can button it up inside and then start tearing out the walls and the floor in here and really start tearing the rest of this room down to make the rest of the changes that need to be made. So, got the door finished up. Um, we shot the shit for a little while and stuff. I probably, while we were just standing around talking, I probably should have hauled off all the debris and the junk and basically threw my burn pile, but we just stood around talking instead. Um, I went ahead and I was 95% positive I could do the whole door by myself. I just knew if I screwed something up massively, it might be a week or two in this town to get a contractor over to help you fix it. And this way, it was worth the money I paid him just to have him here. One, I needed a hand moving some stuff around, getting the door shimmed up, holding it while you screw it, and that kind of thing. But mostly, if I screwed up massively, I had a guy who at least claims to have the confidence and the ability to fix any problem that we come across. So definitely, that was a um, better experience for me there. So I was happy to have that done. But... Other than that, um, got done there, went out to the gym, got my little work, got on the bike for a while, went for my run, came back to the gym again for a while, talked to some new people, uh, might have a new person wanting to take up some training. I don't see them actually doing it with the running thing. They're kind of a bit on the lazy side, so I'm not really sure how it's going to work out. Like They'll go to the gym, they'll be there for 45 minutes to an hour, but they'll do 20 minutes at best of work. The rest of the time, they stand around talking, bullshitting. I actually have seen them come in, spend an hour at the gym, and literally be on any equipment or a bike or treadmill or nothing. I mean, they didn't do anything for less than 10 minutes. They're at the gym for over an hour. So not really feeling the fact they're super motivated. But if I can get them out and get them running, once we take off running out, you got to get back to your vehicle. So hopefully I can um, help motivate them a little bit to get them out and get them moving. So that's pretty much all I've got for today. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.